What is a cooling system? A cooling system is basically a four-cylinder vehicle that completes its journey, producing 4,000 explosions per minute inside the engine when the spark plugs explode in each cylinder to move the vehicle. These explosions produce a great amount of heat that needs to be controlled. If they are not controlled, they will destroy the vehicle. The control of these temperatures is primarily the job of the cooling system. Modern cooling systems are more efficient and reliable than those of the 20th century. How does a cooling system work? The coolant flows from the water pump through the channels that are located inside the engine block. On its way, it gathers the heat produced by the cylinders. After that, it goes up to the cylinder head or heads in a V-type engine, where it collects the residual heat from the combustion chambers. Then the coolant makes its way to the thermostat, in case the thermostat is open to allow the fluid to pass. From there, the coolant goes through the thin, flat tubes that make up the core of the radiator. Inside, the coolant is cooled by the airflow through the radiator. From here, it flows out of the radiator through the lower radiator hose. It then goes back to the water pump. After this stage, the temperature of the coolant is reduced, and it can gather more heat from the engine. The capacity of a cooling system depends on the engine. The cooling system for a bigger and more powerful engine in a heavy vehicle will need a higher capacity than a compact car, with a comparatively smaller engine. In a larger vehicle, the radiator is larger, with numerous tubes for the coolant to flow through. Types of cooling system there are two main types of car engine cooling systems. One, air cooling system. They are found mostly in older cars and motorcycles. They are an air-cooled system where the engine block is covered in aluminum fins that conduct the heat away from the cylinder. A powerful fan forces air over these fins, which cools the engine by transferring the heat to the air. The quantity of heat reduced by the air cooling depends upon factors such as the total area of the fin surfaces, the velocity or amount of the cooling air, and also the temperature of the fins and the temperature of the cooling air. Air cooling is mostly used in fewer horsepower engines like motorcycles, scooters, small cars, and small air car engines where the forward motion of the machine gives good velocity to cool the engine. Air cooling is also offered in compact industrial engines. Advantages of an air cooling system They are cheaper to manufacture, need less care, and require less maintenance. The design of an air-cooled engine is simple. They are lighter in weight than liquid-cooled engines due to the absence of water jackets, radiators, circulating pumps, and the weight of the cooling water. This system of cooling is particularly advantageous where there are extreme climatic conditions in the Arctic or where the evaporation factor of liquids is higher in deserts. Also, there is no risk of damage from frosts, such as cracking of cylinder jackets or radiator water tubes. Disadvantages of an air cooling system In comparison with others, they are less efficient. When these engines are used in cars, motorcycles, or other vehicles, they are exposed to the air directly. 2. Water cooling system. In the water cooling systems, there are jackets that are provided along the cylinders, cylinder heads, valves, and seats. When the water circulates, the jackets absorb the heat of combustion. Then, the hot water will cool the radiator with the help of a fan. The cooled water will again circulate through the jackets. Advantages of a water cooling system. The constant cooling of cylinders, cylinder heads, and valves. The particular consumption of fuel through the engine. The engine is less noisy compared to the air cooling system. Disadvantages of a water cooling system. It totally depends on the supply of water. The water pump during circulation absorbs a considerable amount of water. It is highly costly because of the number of parts. Thus, it requires more maintenance and care for the parts. 
Components of cooling system in engine. The main parts of a cooling system are explained below. 1. Water pump. The basic function of a water pump is to ensure the motion of the coolant when the engine is running. The water pump turns in the direction of the engine, wherever it is running. A part called the fan belt is present, whose function is to drive the water pump as well as the alternator. 2. Radiator. The core of the radiator is composed of flattened aluminum tubes. There are also aluminum strips in zigzag shape sandwiched between the tubes. The function of these fins is to carry the heat in the tubes into the air stream. This heat is eventually transferred away from the vehicle. A plastic tank is located on either end of the radiator core. This tank covers the ends of the radiator. The tubes are placed horizontally, with the tanks on both sides, in the latest radiator designs. In the olden days, the radiator core was made of copper, and the tanks were made of brass. The cheap and easily manufactured aluminum plastic system is very popular these days. It is more efficient, too. 3. Thermostat A thermostat is a device, a valve, used to determine the temperature of the coolant. If the coolant is hot enough, the thermostat opens to allow the coolant to flow through the radiator. When the coolant is not at a high temperature, the flow to the radiator is constrained. In such conditions, there is a provision for a bypass system. The fluid goes to the bypass system and gets back to the engine. This system is important as it maintains the constant and continuous flow of coolant throughout the engine. This continuous flow maintains the temperature and eradicates the formation of hot spots. When the flow to the radiator is choked, the optimum operating temperature of the engine is achieved sooner. This will aid in a cold day by allowing the heater to start supplying high temperature air to the inside very quickly. 4. Coolant Temperature Sensor, CTS The coolant temperature sensor functions to check the temperature of the engine. The ECU uses this information to regulate fuel injection and ignition times. There are many types of engines, some engines have numerous coolant temperature sensors, while others have just one. The information is also used to control the radiator fan and update the driver console's temperature gauge. Most coolant temperature sensors are of the negative temperature coefficient type, which means that as the temperature increases, the resistance will decrease. The CTS can have a 2-pin type or a 3-pin type, depending on the make of the vehicle. 5. Coolant, Antifreeze Water the coolant in today's vehicles is a mixture of ethylene glycol, antifreeze, and water. The recommended ratio is FY5. In simple words, one part antifreeze and one part water. This is the minimum recommendation that is used in automobile engines. Less antifreeze, and the boiling point must be too low. For temperatures less than 0 degrees, 75% antifreeze and 25% water are ideally required. Pure antifreeze should not be used, as it will not be very efficient. How antifreeze mixture is made? Antifreeze should not be drained each summer, it can be let in for 2 or 3 years. Water expands when it freezes, and if the water in an engine freezes, it can burst the block or radiator. Ethylene glycol is mixed with water to reduce its freezing point to desirable levels. The main advantage of using antifreeze is to save the cylinder blocks, pipes, and radiators from unwanted cracks that are produced by ice. When the temperature falls below zero degrees, water turns into ice. This ice has more volume as compared to water, and hence it expands. This expansion is the only reason for cracks, and hence antifreeze is added to water so that it does not freeze. 6. Radiator cooling fan. There is one or more electric fans inside the radiator, which are located at the rear side of the radiator on the side nearest to the engine. There is a casing on these fans for safety purposes and to regulate the airflow. The primary function of a radiator cooling fan is to maintain the air flow passing through the radiator when the speed of the vehicle is reduced, or the vehicle is stopped. Whenever the vehicle stops with the engine on, 
these fans reduce the temperature of the engine. 7. Heater Core Another function of the hot coolant is to provide heat to the inside of the vehicle whenever needed. This mechanism is composed of a heater core, which is connected to the cooling system with two rubber hoses. One hose carries the hot coolant from the water pump to the heater core. The second hose sends the coolant back to the top of the engine. 8. Hoses Numerous rubber hoses are used to connect the different parts of the cooling system. The main hoses are known as the upper and lower radiator hoses, respectively. The hoses are nearly 2 inches in diameter. 9. Head gasket and manifold gasket An IC engine is composed of an engine block and one or two cylinder heads. The surfaces where the block and head meet are made flat for a tightly closed fit. However, completely water tightening is not possible in order to prevent the combustion gases from flowing out. For sealing the blocks to the heads, a head gasket is put into use. 10. Freeze plugs. When an engine block is fabricated, special sand is molded to the shape of the coolant passages in the engine block. This sand figure is located inside a mold. In this mold, liquid, molten, iron or aluminum is poured to form the engine block. The sand is slackened after the casting is cooled. Then the casting is removed through the holes in the engine block. The coolant then flows through these holes. These holes are then plugged so that the coolant doesn't drain out. Don't forget to hit the like button to show your support and stay updated with engaging content that's sure to inspire, entertain, and keep you coming back for more. Thanks for watching and being a part of our journey.